When I was having my National Youth Service Corps program in an eastern state in my country, I would wake up very early in the morning, go to the small school library to start writing. I can't remember most of the things I wrote back then. I just knew I didn't only love writing. I had to write if I didn't want to end up begging on the streets. Years later, I have made more money writing than I have made doing other things. Some people claim to be talented, but I know a lot of talented young people who are dead broke. The reason they are dead broke and still stay broke is simple. They lack the following three skills. 1. Selling skill In one of the videos I published some days ago on this channel, I wrote about the importance of selling skills. Repeating is worth it. The reason is simple. In all my years of working to make money, I have found that young people focus so much on learning skills and building businesses or making money but leave out the vital part of making that money which they want so badly. That important aspect is selling skills. In no way, this means being able to hawk your wares from one street to another or standing in one place and hoping people would come to you. Selling goes beyond that. But if you must have more money than you can imagine, you must be able to sell. Like most young people who make a mistake, in my life, I have spent so many years learning different skills that I never took the time to learn how to sell those skills. Each time I found I was broke, although I was learning as much as I could, I would determine to add just one more skill. But soon, I found out that what I was really lacking was the ability to sell. So I have myself reading books on how to sell anything. It would do you a lot of good to read books on how to sell. Why, you ask? Okay, you would have seen people who do not have a particular talent that you have. They do not even seem to know as much as you know, but they are very wealthy in some sense. When you observe these people, they know how to sell themselves and their ideas and each time, they walk through the very doors that you are often too afraid to walk through. They know the exact words to say that will make people buy. They know the exact thing to do to convince people to pay a certain ridiculous price for a product. Where you would underprice for a service you think isn't important, they would name a ridiculously high price for a client and they would get the money. They've learned how to sell. You haven't. So get to know how to sell. There are tons of books teaching you how to sell. Get them. In fact, I have learned that you can keep learning new skills, but the skill you should never stop learning is how to sell to people your product or services because that's the only way you will always make money anyway. 2. Rebellious skill If you consider the majority of people who are failures and have chosen to remain failures, one of the common things you would observe about them is their willingness to always say yes to whatever the society says. If the society says don't go left because nothing is there, they would gladly say yes and would never go left. Worse, they would be the ones to tell other people not to go left although they do not know why they shouldn't go left. If the society tells them school is the only way they can become successful, they will die trying to get into school only so they can graduate to seek for jobs that aren't there. Whatever society says, they do. These people will never rise above the status quo. But consider people who succeed tremendously and repeatedly. People said it is possible for man to travel to space. Elon Musk thought it was possible and he started SpaceX for space travel. People thought our vehicles will always run on gasoline. Tesla Motors believed differently and so started to produce rechargeable cars. Henry Ford is reputed to have once said, if I had asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. Too often, rebellious people zig when others expect them to zag. If the world is going in the right direction, rebellious people go in the wrong direction. In 1989, at the time of the gold rush, when countless people quit their jobs to go look for gold, so many people would scratch the surface of the ground and would pan out solely to gold and they would be satisfied. But someone would choose a different location and would dig deeper and deeper until they found gold. To get the gold, you must be willing to go where others won't go. Try what others won't try and attempt challenges others won't dare. 3. Patient skills Most people don't know that patience is a skill. The average human hates to wait for something. Whatever he wants, he wants now. I started to learn the blessings of patience from working with my boss recently. I watched him create a media business, employ over 27 employees and overpay them each month without earning a dime in profit for more than a year. Each time I raised hell about him not allowing the business to make money, he would say, be patient, 
all will come in time. Well, as a young person with so much energy and enthusiasm to make money, I didn't understand this. But the lesson downed recently when all too sudden I saw a glimpse of what he had seen a long time ago. I saw how his patience in investing and not focusing so much on the profit at the beginning was going to pay off. In a fell swoop, he was going to make a huge return on investment. That was fascinating for me and it taught me a lesson in patience. I could never have learned any other way. If you want the gold, you must be willing to wait to hang in there while others are pulling their pants, throwing in their shovels and working away. If you want a successful YouTube channel, you must be willing to invest at least two years of your life into it, not expecting success overnight but putting in your load of work so that you will earn big in due time. If you want a successful business, prepare to wait for at least five years before you hit a huge milestone. You may hit your success earlier than that, but at least you would have prepared yourself for the long haul should anything discouraging happen along the way. People who remain failures are mostly people who give up too easily. If you want great repeated success, it won't happen overnight, neither will it often happen suddenly. You must be willing to put in your own share of patience. The patient dog still eats the fattest bone. I don't know so many skills that lead to success but I know that if you lack the ability to sell, you could never be able to stay successful even if you succeed. There will always be the need to sell your ideas, your product or service or even yourself to someone. If you're constantly saying yes to everything the world is saying, you are also jeopardizing your chances of succeeding. You don't always have to go where the world is going. You must develop enough sense to question some things in the world before you succeed. Those who ask questions often never stop receiving answers. Direct curiosity doesn't kill the cat, it makes you successful. Finally, you must be patient because there will always be a period of waiting. Those who can't wait can't succeed. And like I said earlier, a patient dog still eats the fattest bone. If this video helped you, subscribe to our channel. We love you.